What a pleasant day everyone! Today, we will discuss about interpreting the mean and variance of a probability distributions. Learning Outcomes After this presentation, you are expected to interpret the mean and variance of a probability distributions, apply the formulas for the mean and variance of a probability distributions. Let's learn the formula of the mean, variance, and standard deviation in order to solve the following problems. The first one is the expected value or the mean value. The expected value or mean value of a probability distribution, denoted by x, is computed by multiplying each possible x value by the probability of observing that value and then adding the resulting quantities where x is the value of the random variable for the outcome. p of x is the probability that a random variable will have an outcome, and mu is the symbol for the mean. To find the variance, remember the following formula. We will multiply the square of the value of the random variable by its corresponding probability. Then after that, we will get the summation. Then we will subtract the square of the mean from the results that we obtained a while ago. In this formula, x squared is the square value of a discrete random variable, and the p of x is the probability of an outcome of a discrete random variable. Furthermore, the standard deviation of a discrete random variable is the square root of its variance, where x is the value of the random variable and p of x is the probability of the random variable. In these formulas, x is the value of the random variable, p of x refers to the probability of the random variable, and mu is the symbol for the mean of the probability distribution. Remember these formulas so that you will not be confused when we start solving problems. Let's proceed on our examples. Example number one. The number of books sold in a local bookshop is a random variable represented by x. The probability distributions for x is 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 are our outcomes. The probability that corresponds to 10 is 0 0.4. 0 0.2 corresponds to 11. 0 0.2 corresponds to 12. 0 0.1 corresponds to 13. And 0 0.1 corresponds to 14. Now, Let's find the mean, variance, and the standard deviation. Question number one. What would be the average number of books sold in a local bookshop? It is asking for the average number. Therefore, we will use the formula of the mean. In order to get the mean, we will just multiply the value of the random variable to its corresponding probability. Then we will get the summation. Applying the formula, then we will have 10 times 0 0.4 plus 11 times 0 0.2 plus 12 times 0 0.2 plus 13 times 0 0.1 plus 14 times 0 0.1. Then our mean is equal to 11.3. Now, let's proceed on getting the variance and standard deviation. Question number two. How does the assumed value of the outcome vary from the average number of books solved? In this question, we will use the formula of the variance. Based on the formula, we will just multiply the square of the value of the random variable by its corresponding probability. Then we will get its summation. After that, we will subtract the square of the mean from the results obtained. Applying the formula, we will have quantity 10 squared times 0 0.4 plus 11 squared times 0 0.2 plus 12 squared times 0 0.2 plus 13 squared times 0 0.1 plus 14 squared times 0 0.1. Then we will subtract the square of our mean, which is 11.3. We will have 129.5 minus 127.69. Then, our variance is equal to 1.81. Now, let's proceed on getting the standard deviation. 
standard deviation is just simply the square root of our variance. Our variance is equal to 1.81. We will just have the square root of our variance, which is 1.81. Then we will have the answer of 1.35. Now, let's proceed on our next example. Example number 2. Let x be a random variable defining the number of students getting a grade of 98. The outcomes are 1, 2, 3, and 4. The probability that corresponds to 1 is equal to 0 0.2. 0 0.3 corresponds to 2. 0 0.4 corresponds to 3. And 0 0.1 corresponds to 4. Now, let's proceed on getting the mean. Applying the formula of the mean, we will have 1 times 0 0.2 plus 2 times 0 0.3 plus 3 times 0 0.4 plus 4 times 0 0.1, then our mean is equal to 2.4. Let's proceed on getting the variance and the standard deviation. Applying the formula of the variance, we will just multiply the square of the value of the random variable by its corresponding probability. Then we will have quantity 1 squared times 0 0.2 plus 2 squared times 0 0.3 plus 3 squared times 0 0.4 plus 4 squared times 0 0.1, then we will get the square of our mean which is 2.4. Therefore, we will have 6.6 .6 minus 5.76 which is equal to 0 0.84. Therefore, our answer for variance is equal to 0 0.84. Now, let's proceed on getting the standard deviation. The formula of standard deviation is just simply the square root of our variance. Our variance is equal to 0 0.84, therefore the square root of 0 0.84 is equal to 0 0.92. Our standard deviation is equal to 0 0.92. Now let's proceed on our next example, example number 3. The Bank of the Philippine Islands manager claimed that each saving account customer has several credit cards. The following distribution showing the number of credit cards that people own. The outcomes are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. The probabilities that corresponds to 0 is equal to 0 0.18. The probability that corresponds to 1 is 0 0.44. 0 0.27 corresponds to 2. 0 0.08 corresponds to 3 and 0 0.03 corresponds to 4. Let's solve for the mean of this distribution. Following the formula of our mean, we will have 0 times 0 0.18 plus 1 times 0 0.44 plus 2 times 0 0.27 plus 3 times 0 0.08 plus 4 times 0 0.03. Therefore, the value of our mean is equal to 1.34. Now let's proceed on solving for the variance. Following the formula for the variance, we will have quantity 0 squared times 0 0.18 plus 1 squared times 0 0.44 plus 2 squared times 0 0.27 plus 3 squared times 0 0.08 plus 4 squared times 0 0.03 then subtract the squared of our mean which is 1.34. Then we will have 2.72 minus the square root of our mean, which is 1.34, that is equal to 1.7956. Our variance is equal to 0 0.9244 or simply 0 0.92. Solving for the standard deviation, it is just simply the square root of our variance, and our variance is equal to 0 0.92. Therefore, the standard deviation is equal to 0 0.96. We should also remember that the variance and standard deviation of a discrete random variable may be interpreted as measures of variability of the values. Take note that small variance or standard deviation means that the assumed values or data points tend to be very close to the mean while higher variance or standard deviation means that the assumed values or data points are spread out from the mean. 
Especially, the variance and standard deviation measures or describes how far a set of data or the assumed values of, of random variables is spread out. The first data in the following examples is somewhat expected to have a higher variance and standard deviation or variability compared to the other data. Sample number one. The population size of countries that are part of the United Nations compared to the population size of the Philippines. Sample number two. The number of cars registered in LTFRB compared to the cars owned by each family. And sample number three. The number of pages in the books inside the library compared to the number of books given to the students. The mean, variance, and standard deviation of random variable are easy to understand if you know the formulas and concept behind these measurements. The mean, variance, and standard deviation are important in statistics because they serve as the basis for other types of statistical calculations or statistical tests. I hope you understand the topic for today. Thank you and God bless.